press the plus button to skip the introduction if you didn't already know this. And so basically with the lance you always want to be ready to counter. So and like lock and stuff. Oh went into rage mode. So because her attacks just come out so quickly, like unexpected. So always be ready to counter. Stuff like that. And um And it's a dragon sword. I just got really lucky. So yeah. We can see that Anton didn't get quite so lucky and he was just hit by the Dragon Claw. Uh, take a yeah. Dragon Fell Berry to clear the Dragon Blight as soon as you can, but be careful uh, not to be greedy or else she will punish you for it. Uh, yeah, she she's very quick. Um, oh, she's charging. That's calm. So we want to hit the head now. <laughs> That was really cool. I just went flying like over her head and she went yeah. I I am yet to eat a dragon strawberry because I have Oh wait, no, don't I thought I had dragon blight. I just did a point. Thank you. Weak mode. So yeah, we're going decent. She does that fireball thing a lot. You actually can't block the fireball itself, you need guard boost. You can only block the little spiral kind of thing that it makes. Little spiral kind of thing? Yeah, it... that... The, the, the it makes like the fire inferno of doom. Thing. Yeah, it makes... Oh, it's not that bad. Um, that attack that she just did there is annoying. Like, she'll... she's gone in flight mode. She'll just, like, jump back and then quickly pounce forward at you. And it does a lot of damage like that. It's really quick and quite hard to get out of the way. Also. Sometimes she does it twice in a row. Yeah, if she does it twice to you in a row, then you'll be stunned. And, you know, that's a pretty dangerous combo. You can get, like, screwed up by that. Uh, that's actually her telling you that she hates little kittens. So if you weren't already sure that she was evil, you are sure now. Yeah, she is an evil little bitch. Oh, that was me. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Um, just a quick explanation of how flight mode works as opposed to ground mode. Um, Electron has two forms, uh, sky and ground. And she's going back into ground. Right. When um, she's in sky mode, you can see kind of like white, kind of like ice, I guess. And um, that's like charging up. Electron is good. the sort of the uh, most elemental, elementally dragon of this game. She has yeah. four different elements under her control. Uh, during, like, while she's on the ground, it is dragon and fire, and, uh, and a lot of those stop. attacks are annoying. Tom needs to stop trying to do trick shots, and see how she's doing that little moaning thing? That's her coming out of the charge, like, you've broken the charge for her to go into fly mode, so she's not going to go back to it. Right. And one thing about using the flash bomb, if she has stars on her head, that means she loses all the elemental attacks. So, um, when she does the charges, it doesn't have the dragon element anymore. Yeah, it, it's just like... A regular kind charge. Of raw, raw, yeah. Right, um, um... What happens is while she's in air mode, uh, flight mode, most of her attacks are ranged attacks. While she's in land form, it's more mixed. Yeah, Anton just got completely screwed by that little pouncy thing. Oh. Look at his health. So, yeah. Uh, that's her charging again. She's really trying to get into flight mode. Right. Um, just to give a quick explanation of the way the charge works. Um, basically, her sky pierces, which are those horns, generate an electric current, which she stores in her wherever. Um, Do they need uh, to know this, just if they want to kill yeah, it? Yeah, you, you don't really need to know that it's electric, but basically, after enough time, she will turn into flight mode. You want to stop her from doing that. The way you do it is, of course, um, just attacking her head, or... You can just generally attack her body, it just isn't as effective. Um, you can tell that she's charging up because there'll be a ringing sound that you'll hear, and she also yeah, does and a kind of raw animation. Yeah. And to sum up the lance, um, just be ready to, like, counter. Like I said, that was lucky. Just be ready to counter. Um, guard plus two is just so useful in this fight. You really want to make sure you have it. Going into flight mode again. 
as we can see here is the second flight mode. She's out of... Oh, she oh, was... Alex bomb. She was actually out of rage mode when she did that, which is why she's moving a bit more slowly. Um, if you flash bomb her normally, she'll drop onto the ground. If you do it as soon as she hops up into the air, she'll move kind of slowly. Um, the attack she's currently doing is her largest attack. She flies up into, into the air and rains ice shards um, ice shards down on, onto the ground. They hit quite hard, and if she decides to follow you with them, they will... Like, if you get hit by one, you're probably going to die. It, this is a good opportunity to lay bombs when she lands, as we are about to demonstrate. It's pretty easy to avoid them. You just need to look at the shadow, so probably hide the chat box. Um, those bombs just did quite a lot of damage and knocked her down. Um, to begin an explanation of the sword and shield, basically you're just a more mobile version of the lance. Instead of being always ready to counter, be always ready to dodge through, um, through or out of the way of her attacks. Um, you can be, you can be fairly aggressive with the sword and shield as long as you don't be ridiculous, and it is also quite important to keep your sharpness up. Um, besides that, uh, the legs are a good place to attack because you're dealing so much elemental damage, and kind of, if you've already uh, cut off the tail. Um, and you want to deal more damage, you can attack her chest. Um, now, Anton? Yeah, with the great sword, you should always go for the hind legs so you don't get hit by the fireball if she does it. Um, usually you should pull off three charges when it's, when she's on her side. Um, usually go for the tail because you'll be doing the most damage on the tail. Um, when she turns around after the charge, that's the, um, you can just pretty much do a level 1 charge. You should never do an unsheathed attack just by itself. You should at least do a level 1. Usually level 2 on the Latrion. You can use focus, but at the moment I'm not, because it doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. It's probably better to go with defensive skills. And like that. Um, see, I just staggered it there. Greatsword has the best damage per hit, so you're probably going to do the most of those attacks that's going to make her fall to her side. And another one. Three no. charging is really easy. You just need to watch Alatrio, not the Greatsword. Um, if you think she's going to hit you, then you just let go of the button that's it. And... Yep. Um, we are about to describe the hammer, um, that'll be Sam describing the hammer. However, just before then, Sam, would you like to give an explanation of carving the tail? Um, well, you can't do it, like, after you've done it, because if you want to carve the body, then there's, like, six carves or something, right? And you can't, like, get the extra two tail carves without... And I just got like that... KO. I just got that KO. Without um, like going back to the city, so you need to find a time to do it during the entire battle, which is kind of hard. Oh. I'll do one in a second to show when. I'll keep attacking though. Now, what you're seeing here is a very good example of trip locking. Um, she probably isn't going to stay like this forever. In fact, you can see she's just broken out of it but it is a great way to pile up the damage on a monster that is as mobile as a Matreon. Uh, where is the tail? It is on the far side of the arena. Oh, I see it. Arena. Uh, uh that's around. her charging. I'm gonna start moving over to it. She's looking at me. I'll just get some attacks while I can. Alright. Now you shouldn't be Wait. carving the tail while the monster's in the same area besides for Latrion, because there's only one area. Mm. Alright, so but that's usually one. usually you just wait for the monster to leave the area. And she's out. looking at me, I'm gonna... Alright, and... I just wanna do it while she's attacking other people. I just got both off then. I don't know why I did that. Ow. So 
so this should be done any minute now. Uh, no, there's probably a bit more time in this. Um, as far as how long this quest will you know, will take, um, if you're doing this with a group of the other people who are, you know, pre Hunter Rank 51, it will yeah. probably take you sort of uh, 15 to 20 minutes. If it takes you more than that, like 25 minutes, that's still alright. You just have to keep going. Um, if Elatrion takes a bit more than 30 minutes or 35 minutes, you should probably find a new group. Just be patient, basically, because it takes a long time. Th this is um, unarguably the hardest monster in the game. Pretty much. She's always going to get you, like, no matter how many you've done. Now, what you saw just there, or well, you probably didn't see it, but I was hit by one of her dragon core attacks. However, I didn't get hit by the blight. This is an example of her not being able to use the dragon element while she is in flight mode. Uh, if you have any bombs left, uh, if you brought a second round like I did, you can bomb oh, her again the? this time. And yeah, uh, you just got the ice blight. <laughs> Okay, I should probably watch out for that. Oh, I misplaced the bombs. Alright. Whee! Bombs everywhere. Alright, she's back to normal. So, should I do hammer stuff now? Yes, now you should give an explanation of the hammers. And for the area, you should probably stick where me and Sam are because there's no lava here. On the other side of the map, there's heaps of lava, so you should stay on this side. And there's not a lot of room. She can combo you more easily. Yeah. Uh, hammer. Basically, you want to be walking just, like, out of range of the dragon bitch slap thingy. So, um, just kind of, like, uh, in front of the head. And then times when you can hit a when she does the fireball, right there. That's the best time. And... Uh, she does this little thing, that, right there. That's actually perfect. She does that. If you're in the right spot, you can hit her. And... The, the most other common thing where you'll hit her is... Obviously the roar, oh. which you get at the start at other points. A fireball again, and um, whoa, and also when she's charging for flight mode, that's also when you can hit her, and we are done. And there we are, 14. complete. 14 minutes 37 seconds. Um, our last run of this was 11 minutes and 52 seconds. Um, she didn't fly as much. Yeah, she didn't fly as much, and we got pretty lucky with the trips. Um, um a little disclaimer about using the hammer. It is probably the most difficult, uh, most difficult weapon to use against Elatrion, especially for the first time. So I'd suggest if you are new to Elatrion, bring something a bit safer. So to summarize, this is just the guide to show you how to do Elatrion without sleep bombing. So you can do your urgent with any group at all, and not leech. Uh, just to bring everything together and finish, uh, finish this little tutorial off. Alatrion is the fastest and possibly even the strongest monster in the entire game. Uh, respect Alatrion because she will not respect you. Pretty much. If you go in thinking it's easy, you'll you'll probably die. Uh, Sam, would you like to say goodbye to the viewers? Uh, uh, yep. That hopefully that helps. Just kind of really basic stuff. There's a lot more intricate things, but that takes a lot more time and skill to perfect, I guess. So, I guess that's it. Right. This has been uh, Anton, Sam, Tom, and Doron from the Infernal Demons. Uh, good luck with your five-star urgent, and this is the end. <laughs>